Okay guys, hello there everybody, and welcome to another video from Playback. Uh, so we're going to be listening to this stripper, I'm guessing. I don't know if she's a stripper, but uh, they, they, I'm pretty sure they've done their background checks, and she's a stripper. So we're going to listen to the stripper on how to be a real man. List of high-value men jobs. Wait, list of jobs high-value men do not do. I'm always curious about this because, like, if there's high value, high value men, is there a high value woman? And if so, is being a stripper one of them? Just asking. Here's a list of jobs friend. that men should not do, especially grown ass men. Okay, for one, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. Matter of fact, any fast food restaurant, if you think that you're a grown ass man working in a fast food restaurant is okay, something is wrong with you. All Actually, right? uh, I see. Uh, I don't know who I was paying attention to, but like, no, I think I was watching uh, Gilbert's Arena's is, uh, podcast, and one of the guys on there were like, yeah, if I didn't make it in basketball, I was going to be, I was going to work on McDonald's until I stacked up my money, and then I was able to open up my own store. So, Hey, stop that. You could actually make a good career off McDonald's. I don't know the whole process for that, but yeah. Hey, leave those jobs to the teenagers. My nephew can't even get a job right now because there's some grown ass men in his damn forties flipping my damn burger. Okay? Let it go. Leave it alone. That job is not for you. Anything in retail, okay? I don't want to see no grown ass man handing me a dress, okay? That's stupid. Hey, why are you a grown ass man working at Ross? That makes absolutely no sense. Okay? Why are you at Ross? Target, Marshalls, like guys, give it up. Leave these jobs to the kids. Leave these jobs to the teenagers. These are jobs you get in high school, in college. But once you're a grown ass man, you do not need to be working in any fast food restaurant or any retail restaurant. And for you high value men that think that it's high value to work for the city, <laughs> Let me tell you something. You're absolutely wrong, all right? No police officers, Burn. no firefighters, <laughs> no construction workers, no mailmen, no post office. Um, if you consider that a high value like, man, I love, every, like, I love everybody to get smoked firefighters. And, bro, they just be stopping fires. You're absolutely wrong, okay? There's nothing high. You never seen a rapper diss a firefighter? Because they ain't doing nothing. Firefighters chill. Leave them bitches alone. I value about making seventy thousand a year. Bro, I hope next time her house catch on fire, nobody shows up. That little low value ass peasant job. Niggas is risking their lives. I'm saying. She was it. I, I bro, that's the part, that's why I chuckled. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I read the title. Okay. So okay. she's she thinks she's the high value. The high value woman. Mm, so she's the pinnacle. It don't get much better than her. No, no, she, she's letting you know what it's gonna look like. I'm just had to like men then. No, well, she didn't say that. <laughs> wait, what did you say? That's as good as it gets. No, wait, what'd you say? I'm gonna have to find a way, bro. No, no, no. Find a way for what? Find nah, he's gonna repeat yourself. Do reverse conversion therapy. I'm gonna have to for like, what? I'm just gonna have to like dick now, bro, because I can't like. Oh, that so can't you said be, it again. That can't okay. be as good as it gets, bro. Wow, you said it twice. Yeah. Bro, I don't. It's not even gay, bro. I just genuinely, I'll be alone for the rest of my life if this is good as it gets. Okay, say that. No troll. No troll. No, no, say that. No troll. I'm I mean, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm serious. I mean, straight. No, 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 I get that. You know what's so funny about these uh, conversations, bro? As tiring as they are, I always tell people, she is the minority. I, I just, I want, I want, I can't. It, it has to be. Enough. Her it has to be. Her rhetoric enough. is the minority. And the same way goes for, like, even on the other side of, like, Kevin Samuels and all those other people were like preaching high value stuff. But those are the minority, bro. And I, I I pray and I hope that most of you all don't find some form of like, regardless of it's resentment to the opposite sex or resentment to who you're trying to who you're trying to be, you know, in a relationship with because of like women like this. Because what I'm starting to see is I, I was talking with my cousin over the holiday, right? And he will start talking about some same like how much money you gotta make, and I'm like, nigga, you're 17. What are you, what are you, what are you talking about right now? And I'm like, bro, like you don't need to be having those type of conversations yet because you're still trying to learn and find yourself. Like it's not that big of a deal. So now when I start to sit here and I see these these people, the loudest people like them, like her right here, they're minorities. They're not they're not most people. Most women date and marry men who make around forty to seventy thousand dollars a year. So when she's sitting here 
yelling and screaming about how plumbing and construction work and working for the city, though those are not high value type of a job. So those you shouldn't be considering those those type of men or whatever. Or if you're working in real estate, bro, you know what I mean? People not real estate, I'm sorry, uh, retail. You know, people work in retail, you know, people work in fast food restaurants or just the restaurant industry in general, how many people work, um, again, for the city and for government government jobs. To sit there and disregard them is crazy, but be very mindful that this is the minority. Do not allow women like her to, like, dictate the conversation. It has to be, though, because imagine... However, it gets worse. It gets worse. You love that woman. Let her go be with a rich man until you get uh -huh. rich, and then just get her back. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Diamond of Potty, a.k.a. Did you go to the Cheesecake Factory on the first date? And I'm asking dancers, okay? Because they've been on the internet tearing me down a lot of Cheesecake Factory. Do not take me to no motherfucking Cheesecake Factory on no first date. First date is supposed to be an experience, okay? I want to experience. I need ambiance. So she's, well, she's one of those. She's one of them. She's one of them who believe that when you go on the first date, you got to spend a bunch of money, you know, da da da. So, what she. People were tearing her down because of this. And so what she decided to do was, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go where I can find high value women. That's what I'm going to go find. I'm going to go where I can go find high value women. So what she did is she went she went to the strip club to go find high value women. And this, this is what they had to say. Would you accept Cheesecake Factory for a first date? Hell the fuck no. I would not accept Cheesecake Factory as a first date. Why not? Do I look like a Cheesecake Factory type of bitch? Okay, make a thousand dollars every night. Why the fuck would you take me to a, a fifty dollar ass restaurant? <laughs> it's cheap. It's cheap. It's cheap. Go be cheap with a cheap bitch. <laughs> Go be cheap with a cheap and this bitch. What I'm trying to say, like, know your level. Know your levels. You want a cheesecake factory type of bitch? You go to Circle K. You go to Walmart. You don't come find a stripper and take her to fucking Cheesecake Factory, baby. Thank you. They be trying to lay me out in the comments. They like, oh, bitch, uh, uh you a stripper? You a See, this is, this is sad. It genuinely makes me sad. No, and strippers are higher value people, higher value women. So that's why. I don't believe she's trolling. I just don't want to believe she's being dead ass. No, right she's, now. I mean, she got somebody else. They, they seem like they're dead ass, bro. Again, even if we're going to say they're dead ass or not, I want, I cannot stress this enough, bro. These are the minority. It is ridiculous to believe that you as a stripper would then constitute you to be a high value anything. That makes absolutely no sense at all. Also, your occupation, how much money you make is the end all be all to what, what is considered to be high value. That is crazy. That is insane. People who believe that ideology will never, ever be happy because your whole belief and think piece and the way that you view the world is based off of how much money people make. So as soon as you stop making that type of money, because when you're a stripper at some point, you're not going to be making that type of money. Anymore. True, true. Or anyone in general. If you ever stop making that type of money, that means your whole value as a person goes down to drop. That is crazy. Zero. The only cheesecake I acknowledge is a cheesecake that I ordered from DoorDash to my motherfucking house, okay? Period. Okay, if I want a little snack, if I want some cool shit, I'll go get Cheesecake Factory for myself. But you gonna take me out and take me to Cheesecake Factory? On a first date. On a first date? It's like, I can see we already... First of all, I ain't never been to Cheesecake Factory, so now I'm, I'm wondering what's... Why is it so bad to take somebody there? Like, do they not have like bomb cheesecake or something? It, like, I'm mad curious why niggas ain't fucking with Cheesecake Factory right now. I I gotta I would understand if it was like, oh, don't take me to McDonald's or some shit like that. I'm like, cool, but I don't think like Cheesecake is like McDonald's. I don't think like Olive Garden is like McDonald's. I've never been there either. Like, I'm thinking of like dining in places ain't like. Fast food places. So I'm pretty sure Cheesecake Factory is a dining, right? Everybody kind of locked in, you know what I'm saying? Thank you. That's cool. Everybody, I like cheesecake. I'm not knocking cheesecake. I'm, I'm not knocking cheesecake. Day? Not the first day. Come on now. You got to at least pretend like you got a little motion. Even if you don't really, you got to at least pretend. Pretend like you got some motion. Don't tell me this cheesecake factory the first day. Thank you, baby. What's your name? Fat ass tiny. Ooh, let me see. Turn around. Yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, period. Listen, do not take fat ass mm. tiny. Not taking your ass nowhere. <laughs> Bro, I was giving up on life. Bro, you not you not fucking with fat ass tiny, bro? Lord. You not fucking with her, bro? You not fucking with fat ass tiny, bro? Are we letting a stripper tell us that government jobs 
are not high value. Is that what we're doing? Yeah, that's basically what we're doing. We're letting we're letting a stripper dictate what what's high value, what's not. So I have your opinion, man. But if people shit on your opinions, probably because it's a shit opinion. There was a um, there was someone who's reacting to some some content like this where they were saying like, bro, do y'all y'all do realize like, I mean, this is over in the UK. They were, she was saying that they're going into a recession and stuff like that, and how like it's so hard to find housing and jobs that pay enough, et cetera, et cetera. So the fact that people are having these conversations is kind of funny. I'm really? just very serious to y'all. Even as somebody who makes a good amount of money, these conversations are not being had when I'm discussing the opposite sex. Like they're just not. These are not real conversations that people. Bro, have. Th- I always, I always felt this. I always felt like the, whatever, like some, whenever somebody says something like extreme like this, it's only for online shit. Like I feel like deep down in your soul or whatever, you don't believe that shit. And if you did, and if you do, you're just stupid. Honestly, like some of the shit like that is said like this is like really dumb. So I don't believe that they believe this. Like if you met them in real life, away from the camera type shit, she'd probably be stripping. But after she's done with her job, then she wouldn't be like this. And if she is, and if then these conversations are being done. had with you or Arthur? someone else that you're know. dating, I would highly suggest to stop dating yeah. because they are they're showing you where their values lie. Your values shouldn't lie so much off of where somebody takes you on the first date. On the first date, my nigga. Like that's, I don't even that's know you yet. Getting to that point, even when she sat there and said, "But you better you better off faking it. You ain't got no emotion. You ain't got no emotion. But at least fake it." It's crazy. Uh, to my men out there with money, bro, when they're trying to get the most out of you, when they're trying to like extract more out of you, bro, this is a huge red flag, my guy. This is a huge red flag. That means they might not be genuine, bro. That means that the value they see in you is your money, not you as a person, yeah. bro. It's not that hard to find people that give a fuck about you. And then you could help those people authentically, like you with your friends and family. Like you don't have to be asked. You, like don't let people take advantage of your willingness to give when they don't even give a fuck about you, bro. They will pretend to because they see that you could be good for them, but that's about it. It's a business. Then at that point, it's a business relationship. There's nothing genuine or real about it. It's what it is, though. I just see too many people get taken advantage of, and then boom, those people begin to get really sour. They start to think people are evil because they bump into people like her that just try and get the most out of a situation. If you genuinely believe going to Cheesecake Factory means that you are valued less, you're deranged. Yeah. You're genuinely fucking deranged. The whole point of dating is to get to know people. Uh, and this goes to both men and women. Like, bro, stop allowing these people on the internet with loud voices to dictate your perception of how dating works. Like, just stop doing that. I'll, I'll, I'll go on, I'll even go on Facebook from time to time and I'll sit here and I'll see people like complaining about some shit that they never have to deal with. Like, my nigga, you, you work a regular job, my nigga. No, no one is trying to run around and take half of your money. Like, no one's doing that, bro. Or you. You don't look that good for somebody to be overtly trying to use you for your sexual attraction or whatever. Like it, these are not concepts or things that you have to really be that concerned with. Or you're, there's not a man out there with half a million dollars who's just trying to use you and think that because his money is making. You know what I'm saying? Like all those things aren't really a part of your life. Most of y'all don't run into these type of people. Most of y'all date average. Y'all around average people, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that, bro. Absolutely not. You have characteristic traits and flaws that you can present to someone else that makes their life better. That's what you should do. But this whole concept of like money, 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 and then determining how valuable somebody is based off of money is crazy, bro. That's crazy. And also, just don't become depressed by that at all. From a man's point of view, bro, you getting depressed based off how much money you make, especially when we're at a point in time where like there's a lot of things going on financially within many, many economic situations where you're probably not going to be structurally found um, sound enough to take care of yourself alongside someone else as men bro you got to sit down and have a conversation with women and really get an understanding of what the financial structures are going to be in your relationship and as women you may have to accept more of that in your ongoing day-to-day to be more 50 50 and that's fine and as a man when it comes to dealing with women bro stop pressuring women to look some type of way bro at the end of the day bro you need to be with somebody that makes you happy not somebody with the fattest ass like what are they fat ass Tiny? Uh, I, was I can't remember. I can't remember. You you don't need to be with fat ass Tiny just because she got a fat ass. You know what I'm saying? Stop pressuring women to feel like they got to look a certain type of way to deserve your love or your affection. That's, that's ridiculous. That's crazy. Be with someone that actually makes you happy. Someone that actually makes you feel good. Not because someone else is telling you what they expect out of a relationship because they're just screaming in front of a car, in front of, in front of a camera and on, on the internet. That's, that's ridiculous. Yo, let us know in the comment section below. And until next time, we'll see you all later. Peace. Peace. And our owner. I, I always feel like this is just online shit. Like, like I, I don't feel like maybe you're running to them, but I don't know. 
But yeah, like, subscribe. See you guys later. Hope you have a good day or night. And bye.